Ciao. Good morning, Professor Westy. Uh, good morning. How are you? Good, good. Uh, when does your first class start? Um, I start at 9 a.m., so I've got about 10 minutes. Oh, fantastic. Do you mind if I walk with you a little bit? Yeah, of course. Should we go sit down? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, morning. Do you normally get breakfast on your way to school? Um, normally, I just pick up a coffee. I try and sleep in as much as possible, so not necessarily breakfast, but coffee, absolutely coffee. Absolutely understandable. Uh, I guess I just had a question of what what got you into archaeology? I was talking about it the other day with my wife, but we, we were just kind of curious. So it was um, it was an accident. I actually I started out in political science. Um, I thought I wanted to be a politician. And then from political science, I got into um, political philosophy, political philosophy. You have to do Plato and Aristotle yeah. and then ancient things and then archaeology. So not very straightforward. <laughs> wow. That, that, yeah, that, that's amazing. That is not straightforward. Uh, I guess how, how long have you been teaching here? Um, I've been here four years, so this is just starting my fifth year. Wow, okay, yeah. five years. Uh, how did you end up here in Roman AUR? I started here um, uh, with um, looking for jobs. I was looking all over the U.S., all over the world, actually, but obviously for a Roman archaeologist, Rome is the dream. And so actually all of my friends are jealous that I get to live and work here. That's so cool. Uh, what, in, in three words, how do you think your previous students would describe you? Um, I think that, um, I don't know about three words, but one word definitely. They always say that I'm passionate, but it's clear that I love my subject. Um, yeah. And so, and that's true. I don't think I'm performing in, in that sense. I really am excited to see things. And I think that, I think that comes through whenever I'm teaching. Yeah. And how, how do you feel you, you transmit that inspiration to your students? Um, it's actually pretty easy here in Rome. Um, I think all I've got to do is get out, um, get out into the city, go out on site, go out um, into the museums. And I see new things that I've never seen before. And I think they're excited to see that I'm excited. So Rome makes it really easy. OK, that's, that's awesome. Uh, how would you describe a typical lesson like in the classroom? So my lessons, I try and have a really colloquial classroom. I like lots of yeah. conversation. So I start my lessons always with something current in the news, something that I've seen or maybe a meme, um, some way of trying to engage the students. And I try and do what we call a cold open, okay. which is just I just start asking them a question, get them talking to me. And then once we're in there, we can start doing more of the administrative stuff. But I like to get them talking to me right from the get go. That's awesome. And I love the incorporation of uh, meme culture. <laughs> oh, that, that's cool. How many music museums in Rome do you think you visited? Not enough. <laughs> I think that I've been to um, obviously all of the ancient ones, all of the archaeological sites, but um, I'm trying to get out more to get to the um, sort of modern art museums, Renaissance art museums, things that don't necessarily have anything to do with my job. Yeah. Very cool. What do you think is your favorite museum? My favorite museum? That's a really good question. Um, can I do a favorite archaeological site instead? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Open air yeah. museums. Definitely the forum. Forum. Um, the forum. I love taking students there. I love taking um, friends and family there. I think it's just such a multi-layered site. It's literally dozens of archaeological sites all in one. And that's what makes it so interesting. It's political. It's social. It's religious. Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, what, so besides uh, what you do in your academic life, what do you do on weekends typically? <laughs> I'm trying to get out more. I'm trying to get out <laughs> of Rome. I'm trying to not do archaeology. Mm -hmm. um, so um, my, I had family visiting last weekend and we went truffle hunting. Oh, so I'm trying no to way. explore more of Italy, not just the archaeology. That's so cool. Uh, and I guess bringing it back to academia, uh, what is your, the favorite course you teach this semester? So um, this semester, one of my favorite ones that I'm teaching is actually a senior seminar. It's a research seminar, but it's half teaching research skills and then half um, career counseling. So kind of taking all of the things that um, the seniors have learned over the last four years and putting them into some sort of <laughs> useful, useful yeah. package. So whether they go to graduate school, whether they end up um, uh, starting to work, um, yeah all of it, I think I'm actually finding it really rewarding and I'm learning too. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm sure your students find it amazingly rewarding. So <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> uh, 
What is a cool excavation experience you've had in Rome or anywhere else? So I actually um, just started a new excavation here in Rome, and it's my first time digging in Rome. And um, we're digging over um, on the Aventinus Minor Hill. Um, okay. And uh, as I said, it's not so common for an American to get the chance to dig in Rome. And so it's really the honor of my career to be able to start to dig here. It's really exciting for me personally. That's so cool. And what would you say is your greatest advantage here uh, at AUR? Um, or studying at AUR? Uh, definitely that we get to get out into the city the most often. I was, um, uh, I studied abroad um, at, um, in Rome as an yeah. undergraduate and it blew my mind. And so that the students get to see all of these things day in and day out, I'm extremely jealous, but it's such a privilege to be able to show them around. Yeah, that's awesome. What would you say is an accomplishment you're most proud of in your personal or academic career? Um, I'm really proud of this dig, as I said, that I've been able to um, start lately. I, where does the change come from? <laughs> I'm really proud of the dig lately because, um, especially for me as an undergraduate, I never had the opportunity to excavate. Excavating is really expensive and um, not everyone gets the chance to. So I'm proud that I'm able to give my students this opportunity and especially here in Rome, yeah. which I've been digging for 15 years and it's my first year, yeah. my first time doing it and my students get to get to do it as undergraduates. I'm extremely proud of that. That seems like such an amazing yeah. opportunity for you and your students. That That's so cool. Uh, I guess kind of a random question, but uh, if you can talk to one person from history, who would you talk to? I think, um, as I said, I wanted to be a politician. I was in poli sci, yeah. so I'm always interested in political um, political figures. So it would definitely be Augustus. Okay. I think he's the consummate politician. I think that everything he was saying and doing um, are not necessarily reflective of what he actually wanted. <laughs> and so I would love to see him and pick his mind. And I'm not sure he would be truthful with me, but yeah. it would be interesting to try and see. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, I, I guess for out here, do you typically, is the AUR garden your favorite spot to hang out? Um, I like the garden in the morning because it's so nice and peaceful, but actually my favorite place is um, up on the fourth floor terrace. Um, it's beautiful up there, oh, but yeah. I've got class now. Shall we walk up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool, cool. Well, <laughs> do you have any favorite food here in Italy? Coffee. Coffee. Definitely coffee. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I've had two already this morning, um, yeah. and um, there's nothing that can compare to Roman coffee. No, oh, no. So cool. I cannot wait for my parents to visit so I can have them try coffee. They'll never go back. <laughs> it's different than American coffee. <laughs> so, what would you say motivates you in in all aspects, your personal life, your, uh, professional life, uh, academic life? What motivates you? I really just want to make a difference, and so this is a perfect job for me. All I want to do is work with students. I don't need to change the world, but if I can make the experience better for just one or two of my students, that's all I need. So yeah. it actually makes it easy that's, to make a difference here at AUR. <laughs> that's awesome, inspiring. Uh, do you have any words of advice for pr prospective students coming to AUR? Um, come with an open mind. I think AUR students are especially strong because they're already out of their comfort zone by coming to Italy. Yeah. And so when they come here, try everything, go everywhere. And I think that um, that's what I did when I came to Rome for the yeah. first time, and it's worked out pretty well. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I, I got to run to class, okay. but so do you. Thanks, <laughs> me too. Ciao. Ciao.